On behalf of Dr. Paul Stackhouse and the NASA Power team, I'll be introducing you to the NASA Power Project, making NASA data available for societal benefits. How can information from power help? Power provides information that designers, engineers, planners, and citizens can utilize to help inform energy saving decisions. Power provides public, open discovery, efficient access, and convenient distribution of NASA Earth observations data through an integrated services suite. Power provides parameters like solar energy at the Earth's surface, wind speed, temperature, heating and cooling degree days, and much, much more. You can access the NASA Power data by navigating to the Power homepage, clicking Data Access, and then click on the Data Access Viewer page. It'll load an integrated web map with built-in widgets that allows users to answer a series of questions like your user community, the temporal average of the data that you require, the location, and also select a start and end time in order to select the time period of interest for your request. Next, you can choose your file format, and then you can choose a series of different parameters. In this case, we select three different solar fields and one meteorology field. Once your request submits, it's relatively quick, and then you can download the format to your computer and open it up to do some exploration of the data. These are some questions you might ask yourself. Is this a good location for renewable energy? Are my heating and air conditioning needs changing? Answer. Power provides solar irradiance data globally. This is a measure of the amount of solar energy that hits the Earth's surface. Power provides solar irradiance and other data parameters as hourly, daily, monthly, annual, and climatological based products specifically designed to answer questions for building design, renewable energy application, agroclimatology, as well as we work with data partners to develop reports to support specific data assessment needs. Answer. Power provides time series data to assess trends. From the plots below, it looks like this location's heating and cooling needs are changing. To determine if the heating and cooling needs are changing, we evaluate time series trends of cooling degree days and heating degree days. The cooling degree days and heating degree days are primary inputs used to determine climate zones. Building climate zones are used to help inform building code requirements for heating and air conditioning system sizes. The plot in the top shows decreasing heating degree days, so you might not need as much heating power in the future as you did 20 years ago, and an increase in the cooling degree days, so you might need a larger air conditioning system to make your home comfortable. We would like to thank you for your time. For more information making NASA data available for societal benefits, please navigate to Power's website at power.lark.nasa.gov. Thank you very much.